My name is Chris Edwards, and I am the CEO of Edward Mark Brands. Edward Mark um, is our family business. It was started in 1914 by my great grandparents, and it has evolved over the last hundred years to uh, to where we are today. My brother Mark, my sister Dana, and myself we primarily run the business, and um, and we have different parts of the company that we oversee. As the business continues to grow, my parents are still very involved in the business. Uh, we have three different companies. We have Edward Mark Chocolatier with these really beautiful blue boxes that we sell at Giant Eagle and other retailers. Um, and then we have the, the Milkshake Factory, which is very popular in Pittsburgh and has, has become more popular over the years. We now have uh, eight locations plus one in the arena. And the third business is Snappers, Crafted Snacks. Snappers is an item that my brother and sister and I created six years ago, and it's a pretzel caramel cluster. It's a pretzel turtle. We took out the pecans, added in the pretzels, and made it more snackable, and it became one of the most popular items carried in retailers across the United States. Being a local Pittsburgh company, we were proud to partner with Giant Eagle on Snappers. Snappers, Giant Eagle was one of the first retailers to bring Snappers in to give us that shot. And we were really fortunate that Giant Eagle gave us that shot to be able to uh, carry that product because then we could, we could then take the success uh, that we had at Giant Eagle to be able to grow the business in other retailers around the country. So the chocolate recipe that we use is from my great grandfather that we still use today. My great grandfather came from Greece and my great grandmother came from Greece in 1914. They started uh, selling candied fruit and, and started chocolate covering them. And as most Greek immigrants, people were surprised to learn that in, in Western Pennsylvania, there were a lot of Greek immigrant families that got into candy making. And we maintain those recipes in our family. I still have the recipe books that were handwritten by my great grandfather. So we continue to, to evolve and twist, put twists on the traditional recipes, but we try to maintain and be tried and true to the generations that came before us to be able to grow this business to the next point. Sustainability in the candy industry, most people don't realize that um, in chocolate, it's about poverty, it's about deforestation with the ecosystems changing. It's also about people in these equatorial regions where they grow their cocoa beans. Um, they live in, in very difficult conditions. And that is something that the industry has tried to tackle over the last 20 years. Uh, we think all different uh, size businesses and size companies can make an impact and be involved. And we're gonna do our part. And that's why my brother wanted to be able to focus on that and, and, and that to be a pillar of the business, but for him to him and his wife to be primarily focused on sustainability. Our connection with Giant Eagle is actually a really unique one. It goes back um, to my great-grandparents and to my grandmother, uh, where we, our original, our family's original chocolate shop was three doors down from OK Grocers in Lawrenceville. The, the members of the families would come in and sit in the back booth for lunch and they would actually draw and, and write their business ideas on uh, the paper placemats and then they would you know scoop them all up afterwards and take them with them to go back so it was a it's a it's a really it's a it's a great hometown story of two businesses that were very similar same generations in the family that were able to kind of come out of that same neighborhood. It's a fun business to be in. It's it's amazing for me to be able to um, that 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 our family had this idea that my brother and sister and I had this idea six years ago for a product that now I I travel all over the country that you'll see it in airports and you'll see it in grocery stores and it's just a really special feeling to be able to create something here in Pittsburgh and then have it have it distributed all over the world.